In this season of watching, waiting, and hoping, let us pray for all people and places that yearn for God's presence. You send messengers into the world to proclaim the day of your coming. May all the baptized be confident in their sharing of your good news, that our words and lives witness to your grace. Hear us, O God. <clears throat> Send your spirit to all living creatures that are endangered. Provide them with shelter and care, and bring us into right relationship with the earth that you create and call good. Hear us, O God. Send leaders to our nations, cities, schools, and businesses to work on behalf of those who have lost parents, spouses, and loved ones, immigrants, the imprisoned, those living in poverty, and all who are oppressed. Make them bold in their communities, in their commitments to justice and reconciliation. Hear us, O oh God. Your Send your servants to care for those who suffer, Use our ministries and our lives to reach out with compassion to those who are hungry, oppressed, lonely, or ill, especially June, Ray, Anne, David, Carolyn, Jim, Melody, Paul, Shannon, and all those that we name aloud in our hearts or in the comments. We also ask your presence with the families in Detroit who have lost loved ones or been injured in the school shooting. Grant all your healing and wholeness. Hear us, O oh God. Send prophets to speak difficult truths even when they are poorly received. Embolden those who ask hard questions and challenge accepted ways. Instill in youth and elders alike a passion for pointing to Jesus in all things. Hear us, O oh God. We remember your saints, both those publicly celebrated and those more humbly remembered. Confident that your work will be completed, we live in faith until the day of your coming. Hear us, O oh God. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the usher brings the offering forward, please join me in our offering prayer. God of our waiting and watching, we offer the gifts of our hearts and our lives to the service of all your people. Prepare the way before us as we meet you in this simple meal. Through Jesus Christ, way and our peace. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take a moment and greet those around you with God's peace. And if you're connected online, say peace to those online. Is there anyone who does not have communion elements? Everybody ready? Okay. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? Only you know, he replied. When our lives and world feel like that valley of dry bones, we trust that in the Lord we will live again. As Jesus asked Martha, so he asks us, do you believe this? Yes, we do. And in this meal we receive the spirit of the Lord and the new life Jesus offers to all. With this trust we remember 
that on the night he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus sat at a meal with his disciples. He took bread, he blessed it, he broke it, he gave it to them, saying, take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper, he took the cup, he blessed it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, drink of this, all of you. For this is my blood, a new covenant poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this to remember me. Remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. At this time, you can take your prepackaged elements, take off that first layer. <clears throat> this is the body of Christ given for you. And that second layer. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace and peace and life. Amen. Let us pray together. Most high God, you have come among us at this table. By the Spirit's power, form us to be bearers of your word, sharing gifts of grace and mercy with all. Through Christ Jesus, our host and our guest. Amen. The God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, for whom we wait. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 452, Awake, O Sleeper, Rise from Death. We go, sharing the story of Jesus Christ, so all may experience God's love. <laughs>